for today? I hope so. Hi everybody, welcome to Cooking with Clive today. It's a beautiful Thursday in Nova Scotia, um, but it's still a little chilly out, so we're going to make something to warm us up. We're going to make a beautiful, like, super green kale, potato, chickpea, hot Italian sausage soup. Okay, so it's going to have lots of greens in it, it's going to have lots of veggies, uh, some hot Italian sausage, some chicken stock. It's going to be really tasty. You want to make some soup? Yeah? yeah? Can you say soup? Oh. Soup. Can you say hi? Hi. Can you say let's go? Let's go. All right. Let's make some soup. So the first thing we're going to do is we have our uh, pot on, a decent sized pot. It's a little bigger than I want, but uh, it'll work. I'm going to put about two tablespoons of olive oil in there. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to put half an onion in. Okay. So half an onion will go in there. Oh, listen to that. Is that the sound we want to hear? All right. You want to hear that sizzle. Preheat your pan. Get your onion in there. Work that around. Okay. Two cloves of garlic will go in next. Okay, and then this is going to take, it's, if the temperature is pretty low here, I'm going to double check, but it's pretty low. We just want to sweat these off for about five minutes before we start arding. Arding? What does the word arding mean? Adding. Okay, sweat this off for about five minutes before we start adding our next ingredients. Okay? Okay, so these are sweating down. We like to season our layers, right? We like to build layers of flavors. So I like to season all my layers. So we're gonna put some salt and pepper on the onion and garlic. Okay. The salt's gonna help sweat that onion. It's gonna pull the moisture out of that onion uh, and help sweat them pretty good. Do you think we need some more in there? Okay. Okay, so this is a pretty simple soup. It's just sort of throwing everything in a pot and letting flavors build. So now that our onion and garlic are sort of sweated down, I have about a pound of potatoes that I just washed and cut up. I left the skin on. That's where all the nutrients are in potatoes. That's where a lot of the nutrients are. So I'm just going to put about a pound of potatoes in here. I have one can of chickpeas that I drained. I'm going to add those in there. I have one bay leaf. Uh, I have one big stock of rosemary and a couple stalks of thyme. I'm just going to add those right in there. We'll pull the stalks out later. Okay. Uh, now we need liquid, right? So I made some chicken stock. Um, if you don't know how to make your own chicken stock, you should really look into that. Maybe I'll make a little video showing you that. If you have chicken bones, oh, you can roast them up. Put a mirepoix in it, right, which is celery, onion, carrots, uh, cover that in water, put a few, like you can put some of this rosemary, thyme, bay leaf in there, and just sort of let that simmer for like five to eight hours, uh, skimming things off the top. Oh, I'll have to make an episode of Make your own chicken stock, it's amazing. Okay, so I got about four cups of chicken stock, but really just put enough in to cover the potatoes and chickpeas and everything, okay? Okay, so everything in here is covered. I'm just going to give this a little mix up and I am going to let this simmer for about half an hour or until your potatoes are cooked. Does that look good, buddy? I hope. Oh, that looks real good. So we're just letting this simmer away for about a half hour. We just want all the potatoes to be cooked through. I cut them pretty small so it shouldn't take long. It might only take like 20 minutes, but that's all. You can see the bay leaf and the rosemary and the thyme. They're just adding flavor to this. Um, the smaller you cut the potatoes, the quicker this process is going to be. But I want it to be about a half hour. I want to pull all that rosemary and thyme and bay leaf flavor out. So it's been about 30 minutes. I'm going to sort of try and fish out my rosemary, my thyme, and my bay leaf, okay? Just the stalks, really, just get the stalks out of there. A lot of the actual herbs sort of fell in and that's exactly what we want. Ooh, baby, okay. So, 
Yeah, so all that beautiful flavors in there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add some kale. Do you want to try some kale? Here, try this kale. So I just took about five ounces of kale and chopped it up bite size, and I'm just dumping it in. Okay? Just dump all that kale in, five ounces. I have two pretty big uh, hot Italian sausages, so I just cooked them up. No, no, my mama. Is, is this yours? We got to do a taste test. There you go. Eat that kale and sausage. Okay? Some more new foods for you, buddy. Okay? Uh, so yeah, that's it. I just took uh, two good sized hot Italian sausages, uh, cooked them up, then I sliced them on the bias, then I fried them until they got really crispy. So I almost cooked them twice, and now they're going in this, and all that caramelization and all that flavor. Oh, bud. Does that soup look awesome? Okay? So now uh, the soup's pretty much done. I'm just going to let that kale wilt down. Uh, we're going to taste it, adjust some seasonings. Uh, do a little bit of garnish before we eat it, but really I'm going to let it simmer for like another 10-15 minutes. The longer this soup sort of hangs out, the more the flavors go. So tomorrow is really when this soup is going to shine, right? I like making soup sort of the day before and then having them shine the next day, okay? So that's pretty much it. We're going to let this hang out for a few minutes and then we're going to bowl it up and uh, enjoy it. How's that kale? Is it good? Yummy, 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 yummy kale. We have a kale eater. Okay, so now that we have pretty much everything in here, we're just letting it sort of hang out and let the flavors build for five or ten minutes. And then we'll garnish it up. We'll get it in a bowl. I'm going to top it with uh, a little bit of sort of paprika and garlic and oregano oil. Oh, it's going to be lovely. And then we're going to have some nice crusty bread to eat on it. What do you think? Does that look yummy? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Let's get some soup on the go. How's your soup, buddy? Is it good? Yeah, Daddy's is really good too. This soup's fantastic. Mmm. It's gonna warm you right up. Lots of nice warm flavors. Oh, are you dip dip in your oh can daddy have your bread? Oh thanks, buddy. Alright. Can you say bye-bye? You're making a mess. But you always do. Can you say bye-bye? Or keep playing with your soup. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Make some soup.